What is up, everybody? It's actually like a... I don't wear like... I didn't go to Rutgers, by the way. I just have this... Got it for sale like Foot Locker a while ago or First Line or someplace for cheap. Anyway, um, last vlog I did, I think, was shortly after the OCB Presidential Cup, reviewing that show. Uh, we are currently now... It's been four weeks since that show. Um, we're one week out from the AMBF King's Cup in Asbury Park. Um, well, as of tomorrow, I'll be one week out because the show is on September 24th. So, quick, some quick updates. We haven't really done anything with food at all. Um, we've kind of left it at 270 grams of carbs a day um, for quite some time. And I have gotten leaner since the President's Cup. I was 178 show day. Um, I'm sitting around 177 and a half, 178 right now. So my weight really hasn't moved, but I'm definitely grainier, more vascular. Um, conditioning is better um, than it probably was at the OCB show. So with that being said, uh, sent some progress pictures to my coach earlier this week. Um, and we basically decided to start, well, actually last week sent the progress pictures. And really, I think started to want to do a reverse where we're bringing carbs up to 290 grams a day um, just for the purposes of, you know, trying to come in a little fuller uh, for the next two shows. Um, we don't want to come in super shredded and whatnot. However, the issue that I've been having, unfortunately, is I, I haven't eaten anything different. I, had, I haven't added anything new to my diet whatsoever. Um, my stomach has just for the like, past couple days has just been like grumpy. Um, not so much with breakfast, but from lunch on, it's just like I eat and then I feel bloated and then I feel like horrible for most of the day. And then by the time I go to bed, I feel a little bit better. Um, so for a while, my weight shot up from like 177 and a half, 178 to 179, it was 179 and a half, kind of stayed there. Um, then thankfully, like just the other day, like I woke up and all whatever was being held in my system seems to have cleared itself out. And I was back down to 177 and a half. Uh, and as of this morning, I was 178 again. Um, it's just so weird. Like, I, I don't know why my stomach's bothering me, but it is. So it is what it is. Like, I'm not adding anything new into the diet. Everything's been kind of the same. Um, I thought maybe something in my lunchtime meal was upsetting my stomach, so I pulled it out. Stomach is still reacting the same way, so it is what it is. Um, you know, sometimes your body just has its moments. But anyway, overall, I would say that since the show, you know, I've still been training um, as heavy as I possibly can with good form. I haven't backed down to any low weight, high rep stuff to try to get any leaner or more shredded. I'm trying to maintain the muscle as best as I can. And in fact, I'd say over the past couple of weeks, my, my strength has ticked up a little bit. However, overall, my energy seems to have kind of like dropped. Um, not really much going on at work or life. I'm not, like, I'm not stressing about these shows like I was with the first show. I broke that mental hurdle once I did good in the presidential cup, but I do still have the whoop and I've been tracking, you know, my recovery and stuff. And my recovery has been all over the map. Um, it's been trending down, uh, which is no surprise in prep, but I, I did have a good streak there where I had like a bunch of greens, uh, in terms of recovery. But lately, like the past week or so, I've probably had more yellow recovery than green. Um, sleep quality hasn't been bad. Uh, but I think the big thing is it locks into the heart rate variability factor. And it's been, I had like one really good day and then it's been like on the lower end of my threshold or below my usual threshold, which is causing the recovery to come back lower. Um, so, I mean, I'm not expecting to be bouncing off the walls during prep. It kind of is what it is, but I, this is where I feel like I've, I've hit a lull in energy for sure. Uh, today is Friday, so it's actually a rest day for me. So I'm going to kind of mellow out. Uh, tomorrow I got to train legs early because my son starts his soccer season and I got to be at the game at 10, I have to have him as a game at 10 o'clock. Um, and because I'm heading into peak week though, I'm usually I train Saturdays and Sundays. 
I'm probably going to take Sunday off, um, chill out a little bit. Peak week is nothing special, so I'm just going to probably train two or three days at around 70% strength. Friday, I'll probably be doing some sort of quick little circuit in the morning. I don't have to tan till 8 p.m. on Friday night, so I'll get that done. Uh, and then we're just going to cruise into Saturday's show, which will, which will be cool. I'm getting to go against some people that I really do respect as competitors. So from my understanding, Marshall Johnson will be there, who I've been fortunate enough to see compete many times. Love his physique. I will get the opportunity you know, to stand next to him and, and compete. Uh, Joe Lacerra, who's coming, who is Mr. America Classic Physique, um, has decided to step up into the bodybuilding class. And he really wants to just, you know, see how he can do there. Um, so it should be a good time on Saturday. I also have my client, Joey Schoner, who just hit a new low. He'll be doing his classic pro physique at AMBF Kings Cup, followed by Mr. America. Looking forward to that. He's really coming in nice and tight. Um, we're going to do one more carb up with him this weekend just to get a feel for what we need to do going into show day. And then my client, Ty, um, has already hit his stage weight from May, but the composition is different. Um, he made it to the overall the last time, but just didn't, didn't win it. So um, we're coming for that physique pro card this time and see if we can bring him in a little tighter. Hope you're enjoying these vlogs eventually when I do post them um, and that you find them you know, full of useful tidbits, I guess. But in all reality, just I'm so mechanistic when it comes to this. I'm just tracking my food, doing my thing, trying to stay relaxed um, and get ready for these shows. I'm, I'm excited. Like I, I know I'm not like, you know, my usual, you know, jumping off the walls, but I'm really excited about King's Cup. I'm really excited about Mr. America. And I, <laughs> I think at King's Cup, I'm going to try to get my son to come on stage and do a couple poses with me, which would be uh, a great memory, but we'll see how that goes. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.